what is calm for kids? So, and I think it was Sorg that brought it up before the, the Calm app and doing kind of daily meditations and whatnot. I was happy to see, we, we haven't tried this out in our house yet because I just found this last night, but Apple TV has par or partnered with Calm and within Apple TV Plus, they've created a children's series called Stillwater and Stillwater is a set of meditations targeted at kids. Um, helping kids manage their emotions, find stillness and inspire kindness, which I thought was super cool. So they've started with three meditations. Um, they have rainy day, which shows how to manage disappointment. Um, stargazing, which is a settled down and relax at bedtime and a wind chimes, which develops feelings of kindness. Um, it sounds like these are gonna be, these are three to kind of start off with. Um, and it sounds like they will continue um, with more, I guess, episodes in the future. Um, from what I was seeing, I think they're about uh, seven. They're about seven minutes, which I think is 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 good um, for the youngsters. And then they also released a 27-minute YouTube video to help introduce the Stillwater characters, and also find find ways for kids to help them relax so just thought this was super cool um especially with you know what we're going through between covid and then in my area we have a, a teacher strike um so kind of finding ways to bring calm is, is i think definitely going to be beneficial um from what I've heard you can still use if you're not an apple tv plus person but you are using calm um, these are also available on the Calm website and in the Calm app. So pretty cool. Um, a lot of people are probably still getting Apple, Apple TV Plus for free, so they can check it out almost at no charge. Or Apple TV Plus comes in at about $5 a month. Oh, that's really, really cool. And yeah. especially like winding down for bedtime because we're all doing, you know, especially with the kids and everything that they're taking in and just kind of getting them to relax. <laughs> Yes, we, we try to cut the iPad early and then we have the blue light filters and all that kind of fun stuff. So Christopher actually I like, doesn't, oh, sorry, go ahead. Oh, no, go ahead. I, I was just going to say, I, I like that there's all these extra things with it. Yeah, it's definitely, it's def definitely beneficial. Even, even if you're not a TV, Apple TV person, it's, it's also, like I said, available in their app and there's an intro. I was surprised they did a 27 minute YouTube video, which I thought was pretty cool. Yeah, I use Headspace. I think it's helpful having and... those sounds. Oh. Yeah, yeah, I use Headspace. And, and honestly, I get as much out of the, the wake up videos that they send out every morning as I do the meditation components. So I love the fact that they're doing something like this specifically towards kids. I think that's gonna be really uh, helpful. And um, I, I just, I get a lot out of what I use with Headspace. So I imagine this is probably uh, a really great feature. I'm also interested to see if they take this further, like with, with Apple getting into the fitness realm, are they going to, it would be cool if they did a kids fitness targeted or a fitness thing targeted at kids. Um, I know we've gotten more and more into using the music app. Um, just being able to say, Hey, so-and-so play whatever music. Um, so I, I hope they, they do more with the kids stuff. That's awesome. Yeah, I use the, I think it's the, yeah, I had to look it up, My Life app. That's the mindfulness app I'm using right now. I like that we each have are, found uh, something that we, that works really well for us and our mm -hmm. crew, our little crew, <laughs> and especially with <laughs> everything going on, getting your brain to quiet down after you've done a whole day of, well, all kinds of stuff. <laughs> mm -hmm. All right.